Momentum is a big thing with human beings. It's a big thing for me, at least. My momentum is very important. When I'm on a good streak, if I'm on a good momentum of healthy eating and exercise, I love it. I yeah. like waking up sore, and I, I like you know pushing further. I like writing down my workouts, what I've done, you know, and I, and I like hitting that gym hard on a daily basis, and I I build momentum. And I find that when I do that with writing, whether I do that with performing, whether I do that with anything, it just it just gets everything going. It just creates energy. Mm -hmm. And so being lazy robs you of energy. Like being sedentary, being uninspired, being bored, it robs you of one of the most precious things you can have in this life, enthusiasm. It's hard for people to be themselves they don't like themselves. They don't like what they are. And so they, they like to pretend that they're something more exceptional instead of working at it, you know? But what people really seem to enjoy is people who don't do that. People seem to really enjoy people who just work at being a better person, being better at life. The more you concentrate on the image, the more people think it's gross. Yeah. Like the more you concentrate on what you're trying to project and how you would want people to view you or how you want people to talk about you, the more it seems disgusting. One of the um, hardest things to do is to go from being really great at something to sucking at something. And that's something that you suck at is now your path. There's a lot of people that are scared of their ability to do something that's difficult. They're scared of whether or not they, like you see someone who's doing something that's really tough to do and you go, man, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could force myself to, to be disciplined. I don't know if I could force myself to take that kind of action. Well, if you do force yourself to take that kind of action, you don't have that question anymore. That question, I don't know if I can do it. Enjoy life. Life is filled with so many different kinds of experiences that are available. And that's one of the things that you sort of open up to when you relax. When you relax and, you know, you don't worry about what you look like, you don't worry about what you sound like, you don't worry about how, how people feel about you. Because you've thought all, uh, about all these different things on your own and you've kind of corrected as many things as you can correct given that time period. But you, you, you feel comfortable that you're on a good path. Mm -hmm. You know, then you sort of can entertain ideas that maybe you wouldn't if you were insecure sure. or more insecure. You know, I think we're all... I think you have to be insecure if you're finite. Knowing that you can achieve a, a certain level of excellence, whether it's at martial arts or anything you're doing, if you if you do know what that feeling is like when you've worked for years and years and years and you achieve this certain level of excellence, it's very unusual. You realize like, oh, that could be achieved in other venues. You just have to find the venue, apply the discipline, and that's where. You're, you get so much more benefit out of a, a struggle that you choose to embark in versus a struggle that life throws upon you. And I think the more you choose to embark in these struggles, these especially physical and mental struggles, because I, I consider both martial arts, yoga, and actually even trail running, I, I consider the mental struggles as much as physical struggles. Because like, I could stop anytime I want. I, I'm halfway up the hill, I can go this. This, I'm walking the rest of the way. Yeah, call my dog over, put him on the leash. I'm like, we're walking, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but or you could say, no, this is what I'm doing today. I have a I have a very clear plan in front of me. My my plan is we're doing four miles today. This is where we start. This is where we end. This is what we're doing, and then doing it. Just do it. I fuel myself with enthusiasm, you know, and there's so many things to be enthusiastic about. That's one of the most amazing things about the time that we live in, is that we have access to things that aren't near us. You know, we can bring them to us, whether it's physically bring them to us, or go to where they are, or watch things that are not near you, or read about things that are not near you. This is a very unique time, and these tools, I mean, it would be a terrible tragedy to not take advantage of these. And when I talk to people that don't have interests, and they don't they don't pursue a bunch of different things, they sort of do the same shit over and over again, they kind of half act it, and they're bored with it, I'm like, you're, you're, you could do different. You could, you could, yeah. There's a way to do this where it's more fun. Like, you, you, there's other options. Like, you don't have to be lazy. You'll have more energy if you're not lazy. Like, it yeah. sounds contradictory, but in expending that energy, you actually create more. Personally, I don't know for everybody, but for me, I like to do a lot of different things. And I like to do things that I'm not very good at. And in doing things that I'm not very good at, I learn about learning. And I think learning about learning, like especially new things, 
It's so, especially for someone who does something and has been doing the same thing for a long time. Like I guess LeBron has been doing with basketball or, you know, a stand-up comedian like myself has been doing stand-up for 30 years. You do it for 30 years. I've been doing the same thing for a long time. What I find makes me better at stand-up is not just doing a lot of stand-up, but also doing a lot of other things mm -hmm. and particularly doing things that I'm not good at. That, and they don't, they don't, like archery never makes its way into my act. You know, like uh, yoga doesn't make its way into my act, but doing those things that I suck at, it helps. I mean, you're, we're worried about death. We're, we're worried about disease. We're worried about loved ones. We're, we're always going to be, in a certain sense, insecure. You know, we're worried about being sexually attractive. We're worried about being uh, socially interesting. Sure. You know, there's always going to be some form of insecurity, but that's also part of the balance of life, too. It's like you don't ever get to bliss. You know, what you get to do is chase bliss. You get to enjoy the moment. The moment is amazing and it'll go away and you'll be tired and you got to get up, you know, and you got to drive in traffic and you're not going to like it. And you got to, you know, do some shit you don't want to do. There's a lot of times where I work out where I don't want to, yep. you know, and I make myself do it. If I was living in bliss, I'd be just be a fat sitting on the couch, <laughs> you know, thinking that I don't want to do that. My life is about enjoyment. No, there's enjoyment in doing things you don't enjoy. I think that endurance, enduring something, and building up that ability to endure things. That's also a very important mechanism that you could apply to everyday life. Like that, the mechanism of understanding how to endure. Because a lot of people are just running from discomfort. They're running from it. They're just avoiding it. It's so easy to. And like, if you get distracted for a second, you're like, mm, yeah, mm, let me check my phone. You just start going through your phone and looking at both, and you're just distracting yourself from the tiniest, frustration of boredom just a yeah. little we don't get bored anymore well, if we get bored we get bored for these tiny amounts of time then you get distracted so your distraction is eliminating your boredom but the problem with that is like there's certain thoughts that only come to you when you're thinking you don't have any input coming in when we're constantly looking at our phones the only input you're getting is input from other people and sometimes that's good sometimes you get good stuff out of that but it's like a diet of only fruit you know it came up you need some protein yeah <laughs> you need to get some other things in your diet yeah and um i think having discomfort in your diet like having it as a, a regular part of your life it minimizes the amount of uh, other kinds of that you you create being humbled in any way shape or form i think is very good because i think the ego can absolutely run away with it one of the things that I tell people all the time because a lot of people have a hard time defining themselves they define themselves by failure because they failed but I'm like you're not your failures you're you okay your life is a series of lessons you've learned now if you just dwell on the failures like that's not that's not healthy it's not smart and it's not empowering what you got to do is look at those failures and go, well, now you know what not to do. But you're not that. You're yep. you.